Hey everyone, Greg from Buy Sell Ads here. I wanted to do a quick demo of Buy Sell Ads Pro from the perspective of a new publisher who's just getting started and is kind of scratching their head on what do they do next. You know, every, every ad server has a little bit of a learning curve. Um, Pro is a lot more than just an ad server and there's a lot under the hood, but for the sake of this demo, I just kind of want to go over some basics of getting your account configured, where things are, and getting a zone created, which is a zone is an ad unit, and getting your ad tags and trafficking an ad so that the, an ad will actually appear on your site. That's kind of the scope of this demo. I'll try not to bore you guys to death, but if you already know what you're doing, you might want to just skip this one. But if you don't, you'll probably learn something. So I have an account here for a site that I run called Rocket Pond. I want to get this leaderboard serving through Pro. I also have a medium rectangle, but for the sake of this demo, we'll just really focus on this leaderboard right here. Uh, this account doesn't have anything in it, so it's like I'm starting from scratch. As you can see, I don't really have a lot here, so what do you do next? Well, we say add some inventory here, but typically what I recommend is just kind of explore for a little bit. You know, this settings icon, this gear up here will give you access to a lot of your uh, settings. Like, So go ahead and check your contact info. Make sure you have your country set. Make sure your time zone is set. Uh, everything's localized in Pro, so just you know, select your current time, then select your time zone. Once you have that done, save it. Then bounce over to your property. Like this is probably the property that you registered with when you uh, when you signed up for Pro. Again, you can add multiple properties up here, but for this demo, we'll just focus on this one property. Make sure all the settings in here. I have everything configured for Rock Upon. Uh, if you wanted to access the marketplace, you could request access here. If you're already approved, it'll show as approved. And uh, and that's it. You know, configure your property, make it look nice, so advertisers know what they're buying. Uh, especially if you if you're not so worried about the marketplace, this is not such a big deal. But if you are, get it set up so that um, so so advertisers know where they're buying stuff. Uh, save that. And then again, like I said, you can explore some of these other things within here within Pro. We have ad serving templates. Ad serving templates are a very powerful feature that allow you to basically build any type of ad unit you could probably dream up and serve it through Pro. Uh, you can create interstitials, pop-ups, uh, window shades, skins. You know, some of these we already have templates for, but you know, you, we're going to have a whole gallery of examples of things that you could build in Pro using ad serving templates or the API that we also give you access to. Um, people and permissions. So a lot of times people want to have somebody else have access to their account without giving their away, giving away their username and password, which I definitely don't recommend. Uh, so go ahead and add those users here. If you need help from me or if you need help from somebody or if you want to give a team member access, this is where you do it. Um, services is a third-party API layer within Pro. So within here you can find services, uh, third-party services such as AdSense, AdX, Buy Sell Ads Unreserved, Twitter. This kind of takes the integration within Pro to a whole new level, allows us to uh, import data and make it a little bit easier when you're setting up ads. So I actually have the AdSense service connected here and I'll use that for my example because this AdSense ad is what I want to serve through Pro. So now, once you've kind of explored a little bit, you know, click on these icons, what are they all about? Well, we have messaging built into Pro. So we have like CRM capabilities. So if you want to message an advertiser, you can do that. We have notifications to, you know, make sure you're aware of important events or if there's approvals or things like that. Obviously notes, to-dos. Uh, invoicing, scheduling, forecasting, there's just so much in here that I just really encourage you to explore and just poke around and if you have a question just click the little help icon down here and ask somebody. Um, so just you know there's no harm and you know Pro is yours to do with it what you want so just definitely poke around. But now like I said I want to get this leaderboard set up. So the first thing you have to do when you want to get a leaderboard set up is create the ad unit. We call them ad zones. So in this case, I want to go ahead and click this little inventory tab and click the plus icon. This is on a website and it's going to be an image only template. We're not using a custom template or one of the other baked in templates here. And go ahead and click next. I'm going to call this premium leaderboard plus. And I'm actually going to create, this is actually going to be a 970 by 90. So what's unique here is that this site is actually responsive. Um, but Pro Ad Code can accommodate, you can put in any size ad or creative in any size zone. So I could traffic it, I could actually set up a 720 by 90 and serve it in a 970 by 90, no problem. And vice versa. 
So let's go ahead and give it a name. We'll call this a premium leaderboard. Uh, let's call it a large leaderboard on Rocket Pond. It's on the top center. I want to go ahead and set this up as a CPM zone. And I want to give it a rate of $2. That's what advertisers would pay for it. You know, I can always sell for more or less. But uh, let's go ahead and say advertisers can't purchase less than 10,000 and one ad is going to show up at once. If you wanted to stack some ads or you had like a block of 125 by 125s, you could set this to eight. And that means eight ads would show up at once. But in this case, this is an IED ad unit. I only want one to show up. Let's go ahead and save our zone. So now we have our zone created. Once you have the zone created, you can grab ad code and get that all configured. Zones are kind of the, the, the first step of getting yourself to the next step. And that next step in this case is either putting the ad code on site, but if you do that, nothing's going to show up because you don't have any ads set up in Pro yet. With that being said, because this is in an, is an, in an iframe, you could safely put that here, and as long as there's no custom CSS on your end, that ad would just simply collapse. Like I could put that ad tag here with no ad, and this would just collapse. And so if I wanted that to be the desired result, then you are more than welcome, more than you have that capability to do that. But going back here, I want to go ahead and set up an ad. Before I put my ad tags, I want to go ahead and set up a campaign. Uh, so within a campaign, you can have one or more ads. And you can invoice as a group, or you don't even need it. Invoicing is completely optional, so you don't even need to worry about it if you don't want to. But let's go ahead and click, the, again, the little plus icon. These are kind of descending tiers of priority going from direct sale to third party to house. A direct sale is a guaranteed ad that is typically your highest value ads. They're, they're guaranteed because they're set to serve over a certain period of time and advertisers typically paying for them. So they're, they're your most valuable ads. So these are your highest priority. And then you have third party, which would be your ad networks and you know monetizing any unsold impressions. And then you have house ads, which would be like any in-house ad for maybe an event or some uh, an event or some um, in-house promotion that you're doing, these would be the lowest priority ads. So it's kind of up to you how you configure this. But in this example, I wanted to set up AdSense. So I'm going to go ahead and click third party. Go ahead and select AdSense. You'll see how easy this is. Click net continue. Now I just want to select the zone that I created, which in this case is a premium leaderboard. And I'm going to call this AdSense leaderboard. Now, since I'm connected to the service, you'll see here that I actually have a drop down here that I have all my AdSense ad units in it. So I just want to select the Rocket Pond one. I'm going to just leave a value CPM of this one at $2, which is what I configured the zone at. So that I'm giving it a value CPM of $2. And I want it to start now and just run uh, unlimited. I don't want this thing to stop. Because we're already connecting it to the service, I don't need to worry about adding a creative. It takes care of that for me. Place the order, and you'll see it shows up now here on my campaign screen. You'll see I have an AdSense leaderboard, or if I go to my zone details page, I also have an AdSense leaderboard set up. So now I have an ad, and this is going to, this ad is going to show 100% of the time unless I have another third-party ad running or a direct campaign that's a higher priority. Um, and so the ad server's job is to make sure your ads properly pace and it prioritizes things accordingly. So that's that's the, one of the beauties of using an ad server is it takes some of that burden off of you. So if you have a few direct campaigns sold, you can set those up. The ad server will try to pace them or serve them based on the settings that you've applied. And then also make sure that you're, fulfill, you're monetizing any unsold impressions by serving anything when, when you don't have a direct ad to serve, an AdSense ad will serve or a house ad will serve or you know you won't serve anything and the zone will just collapse. A lot of publishers actually opt to do that. So, you know, again, to each his own, but that's why you want to leverage the ad server, because it does a lot of the grunt work that you would otherwise have to do. So anyway, now that we have this ad in here, I can go ahead and grab the ad code. So there's a couple ways to grab the ad code. You can actually see the ad tags option on the zone settings page. But typically you can actually click view all under the inventory tab and you're going to see all the zones that you've created are going to appear here and for those that have ad tags which the majority of them do you go ahead and click the ad code option and you'll see it's a two-part ad code this piece only needs to go one time on the site in the head or the footer you could have five ads on a page but this only needs to appear one time that's it this 
snippet right here would actually go where you want the ad to appear. So if you again, if you have a leaderboard and a rectangle, you're going to put you know this bit where you want the leaderboard to appear, and then the other snippet of ad code where you want the uh, the rectangle to appear. But again, this one only needs to go on once. It's a very common mistake. That's why I'm beating a dead horse here. But it's very common for people to to copy this and this and place them together all throughout their site, but they don't. that doesn't need to happen. Once you have that and you upload that to your server and you're, you're, you know, at that point you have an ad set up, you have your zone created, so you'll start seeing this leaderboard ad on your site or whatever ad it is you configured. And that's it. Now you're set up for the future. Now you can start trafficking direct campaigns, you know, or you can also sell ads in the marketplace. Any ad sold through the marketplace will automatically be trafficked in Pro for you, so you don't need to worry about it. It's a very nice perk of the marketplace, is that it's kind of all just handled for you. But um, but yeah, that's it. You know, obviously there's a lot more features here. Like you know, you can just see by looking at this screen, discount codes. Um, you know, we have forecasting. You have a schedule page. There's just all kinds of stuff under the hood, but there's just so much power here. But the main thing is just kind of getting your zones created, getting some ads set up so that, you know, assuming that's your goal, getting it, everything set up on site, testing to make sure it all works, and now you're set up. And at that point, you can start building custom ad units, you can start going out and pushing direct sales, you name it, the world is your oyster at that point, you know, go grab the bull by the horns, you know, so just do whatever it is that you need to do. And if at any time you have questions, there's a help, uh, option here in Pro. Uh, we do also have docs. If you go to pro.buysellads.com and you click on the docs link, we have a lot of docs and we're constantly improving this. Just like this video will probably uh, help a lot of publishers. Um, so that's really it. I mean, there's just a lot here. But as ad servers go, and I've used pretty much every ad server there there is, this is, we've tried to really reduce the learning curve and I'm hoping that, you know, videos like this and will allow publishers to really get going with, uh, with as little learning curve as possible. So again, we're here to help if you have questions and thank you for taking the time.